This is a short tutorial on Lambda expressions in Java. My name is Simon Deneen. I'm a director of Java Consult, a London-based training company. Java 8 adds functional programming to the language in the form of Lambda expressions. Functional programming involves the evaluation of functions that produce results that depend only on their inputs and not on the state of an object. Lambda expressions can be converted to functional interfaces. A functional interface has only one abstract method. For example, the predicate interface has an abstract method named test that takes a generic argument and returns a boolean. Prior to Java 8, this could be implemented as an anonymous inner class. Lambda expressions are anonymous functions. The anonymous inner class could be replaced with a lambda expression. The syntax prefixes the lambda operator with the argument to the method, in this example string s, and follows the operator with the expression s.contains Europe. If the parameter type of a lambda expression can be inferred, then it can be omitted. Here, the compiler can infer that s is a string because the, func the function is assigned to a string predicate. The predicate could be used to filter a collection of strings. The stream API, new to Java 8, enables a sequence of elements to be filtered and transformed before executing a terminal operation to obtain a result. The stream interface is in the java.util.stream package. Its methods include filter, which takes a predicate argument and returns a filtered stream, and count, which returns the number of elements in the stream. To obtain a stream from a collection, call its stream method. Interfaces can now include implemented methods, known as default methods. This is the collection interface, and clicking on the stream method, this is how it's written with the default keyword. To obtain a sample collection of strings to apply the predicate to, I'll call the getAvailableZoneIDs method of the new zone ID class. Writing a for loop, you can see the time zone IDs. Joining these methods, you can get the number of strings that match the predicate. There are 59 European cities in the set. Rather than passing a reference to a functional interface into the filter method, you could instead pass in the lambda expression. The count method is called a reduction. It reduces the stream to a value. Reductions are terminal operations. Other terminal operations return collections. The collect method reduces elements in the stream using a collector. The collectors dot to list method returns a collector that reduces the stream to a list.
upstream transformations can be chained together. For example, the map method of the stream interface transforms each string into a substring, beginning with the seventh character. The sorted method returns an ordered stream, as defined by the comparable interface. Strings will be in alphabetical order. The iterable interface has a default method for each, which executes an operation on each element in the stream. It takes a consumer argument, which represents an operation that takes a single argument and doesn't return a result. Instead of collecting the, the results into a list, the terminal operation could be for each. The argument to for each could be simplified using a method reference. To execute the println method of the system out object for each element in the stream, the syntax is system.out colon colon println. The double colon separates the object from the instance method. The same syntax can be used to call a static method of a class. Thanks for watching this short tutorial. We run public courses in London too. Refer to javaconsult.com.